to a 3D printed parts Christmas special. Now, usually I'm in the shop, but I thought, why not do the Christmas uh, special upstairs by the Christmas tree? I love this tree. Now, what I want to do is I want to talk about uh, 10 things that you definitely should have in your shop or your husband, wife, child, friend could definitely use if they're doing any type of 3D work or foam work or cosplay work, stuff that I use in the shop every single day or at least every day that I get to be there. So let's go ahead and talk about all of them. Let's go with uh, number one. And it's a biggie, of course. It is the 3D printer. Now, if you want to do any type of 3D work, obviously you need a printer. Uh, I would recommend I use the Creality CR10. I love the printer. It's a workhorse. It has its issues like every 3D printer, but I have printed everything you've seen in the channel that I've been working on on that CR10, and it is a work beast. Do any type of Google search or search on YouTube here, and you will find everybody who's doing cosplay and doing 3D work, that's what they're using uh, for the most part. A workhorse. So you can take a look at the CR10. Again, all of the links for everything in uh, this Christmas special, I love calling it a Christmas special, are uh, in the description below, or you can go to 3dprintedpropsgear.com and you'll see lists to everything. So, 3D printer, okay, number one, very important. Now, what else do you need? Filament to go with that 3D printer. Now, I use Hatchbox filament, but there are just, I mean, there are thousands of different types of filament, whether uh, you're talking about flexible or PLA or ABS. Uh, I uh, like the PLA because it's something that's easier to print with for me, and I use Hatchbox. I've never had a problem with it. There's a few others I have used that I also like, but I figure for it being the comparable price, I go with that. Sometimes I do see deals, uh, Black Friday type deals, where I found rolls uh, of off-brand stuff for $10, and again, those links will be in the, in the description, and I've used that. So, printer, okay, we've got, uh, definitely got to have the, <laughs> blank it out, the filament. So you want to pick some of that up. Now, then we start looking at some of the tools and some of the things we use when we're making things. So, uh, third, I would say any type of um, uh, glues that they might need. Uh, I am a huge fan of the, uh, the these super glues that definitely, uh, they, they're really fast. I, I can't remember what they're called. I'll put a picture down there of them. But uh, I get the big jug of it, and I also get the the um, accelerator with it so that this way when I put the pieces together I spritz it with the accelerator bang it totally bonds them together so we've got printer we've got filament we've got glue to bond it together and the accelerator this stuff I love it you put the pieces together you hit spritz and of course boom together and your fingers everything is touching so we've got that now the next thing I would take a look at are these little files, these little tiny rasps, they are fantastic. Uh, you've probably seen them in most of the helmet builds I've done. Get in the fine places and really, really uh, clear out anything you need. Now, while we're on the subject of rasps and sanding, an assortment of sandpaper, that would be totally, totally helpful because I am always sanding, I'm always working. So. Go to Lowe's, go anywhere, get this sandpaper. Uh, the stuff that I use, again, is in the links below. These are affiliate links. If you click on them, the show gets a, you know two cents or a quarter or something like that. Uh, but any little bit helps. And an assortment of sandpapers, very, very useful when you're doing this type of work. Now, next thing I would say are different types of um, sort of like Bondo, so things to fill cracks. So. A jug of Bondo. Now, Bondo is very smelly, so if you're going to use that, make sure you use a respirator. So I would use, get like a Bondo, uh, Bondo, and that's for like really huge gaps and voids or just smoothing out helmets. Then also the Bondo glazing. Uh, it's a little red tube, and again, the pictures will be here or here or here, wherever I'm going to put them. And that's for your finer work. Okay. So we've got the printer, we've got the filament, we've got the glue got the rasps, we got the sandpaper, 
Uh, we've got some Bondo and some filler when we need to actually fill those cracks and everything because that is very important. You'll see in some helmet videos coming up where I am Bondoing the heck out of things. So we have all of that stuff. Next thing you're going to do is uh, prime things. Okay, when you're going to, before you paint them, you end up priming them. And this two in one primer right here, two in one fillable primer, I use for everything. I'm picking up cans of that like it's going out of style. So if someone, I looked under the tree, I don't see one under there right now, a couple cans of this primer, I would love. So a couple cans of primer, that is definitely handy. I think we're on, what are we on? Let's see, printer, filament, glues, uh, rasps and sand, uh, sandpaper. What else? Bondo, and let's see, we just said uh, spray, uh, spray filler, right? Say primer filler. So what do we got left? Three more left. What else do I need in that shop more than anything? Um, heat gun. Use my heat gun constantly. Um, you saw when I made my helmet, it was too small, and I used the heat gun to sort of uh, warp it a little bit to uh, expand it so it would fit over my melon. So heat gun, just incredibly important. Glue gun, crazy needing a glue gun and glue sticks. Glue sticks, fantastic stocking stuffers. So uh, go to Joanne's Fabrics, go anywhere you want, go in the links below, grab a glue gun and the spray for it, or the, uh, the glue for it. Oh, I'm just trying to think. I'm, I'm losing track of my 10 things, but I'm trying to go over just the real nice work is a soldering iron and the soldering kit with it. Very cool to have one of those, especially if you're gonna do any type of work. Uh, a nice cheap soldering iron, just remember to unplug it, really important. And last but not least, and I can attest to this today because I was, don't tell my wife, spray painting in the basement with the windows open. But I want to tell you, you definitely want to pick up a respirator. If you're going to be doing work, even if you're outside, put the respirator on. I didn't wear it this morning for a little bit and I can just taste uh, spray paint. So pick up a respirator whenever you're doing anything. When you're sanding th uh, the 3D plastic, when you're uh, sanding Bondo, when you're sanding anything, and when you're painting, you want to have the respirator on. So that's a bunch of stuff. Uh, again, 3D printer, that's a huge expense. But, you know, even if someone's doing foam work, like uh, TNT Cosplay has a fantastic foam. Uh, there's a bunch of different foam on Amazon that you can get. Again, the links are below that I use. If you're doing foam work, another huge thing that you could definitely use and anybody in the shop could use is a big jug of barge cement. And when you've seen some of the videos I've done with foam, the, the shins and stuff like that, that's using barge cement to seal that stuff together. You use that stuff, you put it on, you're gonna rip the foam trying to get it apart. So barge cement, what else? Brushes, little chip brushes, little uh, little paintbrushes, cheapy little paintbrushes, I use those all the time. And I keep saying, oh, and one more thing, but you just use a lot. And I guess one other thing would be uh, some cheap acrylic paints. Uh, you saw when I did the shin guards, I'm painting the the pieces of the shin guards with the, the cheap basics paint. And uh, I really, I like that stuff. It's cheap and, and it goes a long way. I think that's it. I know I said 10 things and I probably listed about 20. But these things range anywhere from obviously a 3D printer, which is expensive, to just a, a couple dollars for some sandpaper. And you know, you're gonna use it or your, your, your significant other, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your kid, whoever are gonna use that in the shop. Now, if you're wondering also maybe what I'm shooting this on and in the studio what I use when I'm, or in the, in the shop what I'm using, uh, I use a Canon uh, camera with a microphone and some LED lights. And again, those, uh, the links to that will also be in the description. Uh, I've got a, right here, I've got a LED light that I really love. I cannot remember the name brand. I'll put the links there and I'll put some photos in the video. Maybe up here or maybe over there. Who knows? <laughs> All right. Well, it is, Christmas is really approaching and I probably waited too long to do this, but I really wanted to get one of these out. I've seen a couple other people do them and I really think they're fun. And I didn't know of even some of the things I saw on some of their lists and I went out and grabbed them and was really happy about it. So if you want to check out uh, Zombie's channel, Grace's channel, uh, just look up Z-O-N-B-I. She's got a great one. 
uh, a lot of other people do. And I just want to give a shout out to a lot of channels, uh, or some channels out there that have really helped me. Obviously, Uncle Jesse, uh, thank you for the shout out the other day. Really helpful. Uh, check out Grace's channel, uh, Zombie. Uh, check out, uh, oh my goodness, I can't remember his name. Zeng Prod? Zeng Prod or Zeng? He does amazing foam work. I'll have the description there or the, the name of it probably across my face. Um, that is about it. I mean, there's so many more channels, and I probably shouldn't have mentioned even those three just because I, I've got a list of a million I'd want to mention, and maybe I'll do an episode where I do that. But those are three channels that I look at and I watch every single time they have a video out, and uh, you should check them out. Well, guys, I want you to have a happy holiday, safe holiday, whatever you might do, wherever you might go. Uh, I have got five or six projects in different stages of putting together. That's the technical term of it that I cannot wait to get on uh, in the end of this year and next year. I want to thank everybody for subscribing. I really appreciate it. If you like the video, click like, share it, uh, hit that little bell up there, and then you'll know right when I put a video out. Also, again, all the links to all the stuff is in the, is in the description below and under uh, 3dprintedpropsgear.com. It'll take you over to my kit site where I list everything in, I group everything. So it'll even say Starlord Helmet Kit and you'll see everything I used for that. Well again, I wanna thank you, have a happy holiday. Uh, I'm gonna shake some presents and open the windows downstairs to get that, that spray, uh, spray smell out of there because it is horrible. All right guys, have a good holiday.